Welcome, guys, to another episode. Don't do this. Okay, I'm sorry. It's like it's it's a habit. It's a fucking habit. I'm sorry. Welcome, pussy assholes, the motherfucker, horrible decisions, or whatever. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. I'm your girl. <laughs> I'm your girl, Mandy B. Joined by Hi, I'm Wheezy, and we have a repeat offender. <laughs> this is shocking. There's only been two white people that have ever repeated horrible decisions. Shut up, Andrew Schultz, and you. No, I think Rory. Rory been on twice too, right? Mm -mm. No, only once. Mm -hmm. Wow. It was long. Damn. We only by had. The way. We, we only had two white people repeat. Yeah. For real, hey, that for makes real? me feel so fucking good. God damn, I it's think that is. That is. It's because we even have sex yet. I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Andrew's in the other room, and I was like, oh, you know, Sophia is coming. Mm. I was like, we have a really great history, Andrew and I. I can't wait for him to like walk in the room and see you. <laughs> is he going to? Who me better. Too. They're only I'd be like, this is what you missed out on. Just so you can't you even know. say that when he about to get married, though, bro. Oh, that's why I forgot. That's I so forgot. disrespectful, bro. Oh, that's no, true. My I bad. Forgot. <laughs> and I fuck with her too. I, you know what? I don't Oof. follow him or her. I totally forgot. You did mention that. So no, I won't. I'm okay, like, congratulations. Can you go ahead? I know we didn't announce you as the only second white person to be on two times, but can you tell her her, her name? Can you give people who it is? <laughs> I'm like, she can say it. Let me show. <laughs> now I have to do more shit for a white woman. Wow. Uh, <laughs> like introduce her on your show. Sophia <laughs> the Franklin, one of my favorite podcasters, which is crazy to say. Not because... you putting on the voice, but I couldn't put on the voice. Right. <laughs> no, I'm talking around. <laughs> um, no, I really love your podcast and we met when you came on Horrible Decisions mm -hmm. last mm -hmm. year, which was crazy because you hadn't been on the airwaves for a while. And now your show is doing great. Yep. And we've been on there, too. Yes, you guys have been on. Um, it's Sophia the Neff. My name's Sophia with an F, Franklin with a Y. <laughs> and yes, I'm the only second white person to be here. And you, and you literally you tell I'm white by my voice. You helped us go no, from 27 white listeners to 29. And I want to thank you. <laughs> That's a whole so, two white listeners. Two white literally, joined us. Last That's week a lot. when we were in here, right? Mandy was saying something. And I was like, do white people come up to you and make the joke about them being 27? She's like, no, white people don't come up to me. I said, well, there's, there's two type of white people that come up to me. Me. It's the ones that are kind of like the bitch from Zola, and they're like, "Damn, girl, what's happening?" I'm like, "Ooh." ooh. <laughs> and then the other ones, yeah. it's only when I'm in LA, they come up to me and they're like, "Do you know Sophia?" No way, bitch. Yes, no. Way. Last time when we were in LA, you and I were walking, and then there were these black girls that went up to you, and I remember you were like, "How does it feel that they're like going up to me and not you?" I'm like, what? "I don't give a fuck." No, you said you were dying on the inside. No, I was kidding. I know. Can it's I? Can I ask you since y'all? have hung out in LA uh Weezy be lying so Sophia how <laughs> close have y'all gotten to eating each other's pussies out oh I don't know that's a great start no, you guys have to find out first well, off wait, you, on the OnlyFans no I'm just playing uh. if, I didn't, if I didn't have that flight I had a 6 a.m to go to my godson's birthday oh my or God. christening sorry <laughs> oh wait was it both I love you bash <laughs> but anyway <laughs> we were hanging out at poppy this was the fucking rapper night not the rapper night. Yo, Sophia was so funny because we were in this hood ass club and she was like, is that fucking Drake? I'm going to lose it. <laughs> <laughs> like, so then we go to this back room where like Drake, because he like basically like sectioned off Poppy just so he could have it for himself. And not that we weren't having a good time with each other, <laughs> but we did what every girl would did in the pres like in the presence of someone who's A-list. And you know what I mean? It's like you're not pressed, but you also like kind of just find your way like this you're close. scooting <laughs> in like trying to twerk just trying to like look sexy all of a sudden into music that yeah that you almost broke doing. your back that's how hard <laughs> oh, it is. dude then Sophia was flirting with this gangbanger how do you know he was a gangbanger cause bitch trust me wait how do you know he was a gangbanger he was hanging with Freddie Gibbs it was Vice Lords oh but really we'll still text like now and again he'll be like hey what's up we'll be like hi LA you know what I'm in LA would you would you <laughs> give him would you give him some pussy Oh, he was cute. He was pretty cute. I don't know. I'd have to like, oh, see the him again or in the light. No, no, no. The gang, the gang oh, banger. Oh, Freddie's fucking hot as <laughs> shit. <laughs> he is so sexy. But let me tell you what made it great. So there was like an altercation where, and I didn't even really see it at first, but this girl like said something to Sophia. And once she told Freddie or someone or Freddie noticed, he was like, oh, nah, you got to be by my nigga all night. <laughs> the dude was ready. To, he took Sophia to the bathroom, bitch. What'd y'all do there? Nothing. Oh. Oh, you just, oh, but no, these these random girls, it was right after like the whole fiasco, right? Like that happened. And these girls sitting at the table next to us all like in unison look at me and flip me off. 
Hmm. No I was fucking like, way. No. I, I wish I saw it, bitch. I was like, I don't fucking know you. You're going to flip me off over some shit you like read, you know? So it was wild, but. Freddie had my back. So. <laughs> <laughs> he has no clue who my name Freddie is. Freddie Gibbs holding he it down. So, he made sure, which was so cute because anyone who like watches Freddie knows how much fun this person is. And he was like, oh, nah. Like, so then, mind you, we get to the back where Drake is at because Drake's, Drake wants to hang with Freddie. And Freddie's like making sure Sophia doesn't get trampled by those white girls. He's like, she good? <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, I think if that and the night would it have like escalated. We were flirting hard when I was on that plane. We were. It was it was intense. Hard. On a plane? Because I was like, damn. She was on a plane. She was like, you should oh. be here. I was like, I want to be in the bed. But we get really gay when we're drunk. We do. Mm. I mean, we have a picture of ourselves making out That's on true. my Instagram. Are you only gay when you're drunk or are you like a real bisexual? <laughs> Ooh, that's like a probably only when I'm drunk. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. I like fantasize about women and shit. Sober. Okay. okay. But I think I've only acted on it when I've been under the influence. Okay. It's hard to make moves on women though. Mm -hmm. When we get questions about that, even to this day, as someone who like dated a woman for years, like it's still Yeah, it is. How, why is that? Um I think we know how aggressive men can be. And so I think that we are a little bit like, how do I show up and holler at her respectfully, right. but also let her know I'm serious because a lot of women are fake gay, which is why I asked. Mm -hmm. So I think like, I'm not going to lie with me as well. If I approach the woman, I am a femme and I don't want to take the masculine role. And I think that when you're the aggressor, you do take more of the masculine role. Like, damn, if I'm hollering at you, does that mean now I got to pay for the date when we go out? Like I told you, my mind gets all crazy when I think of like the date on pain gets weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like hitting on women to me is just hard because now what? And I think too, no matter, I don't give a fuck about what it seems like with gender inclusivity, there is a mask. Like someone has to kind of take those reins. Yep. Even in gay relationships, and like you kind of don't know who it's gonna be. Um, with my ex, she loved when I took it. Shout out to scissors. <laughs> she was like, girl, go ahead and get the check. <laughs> But also I enjoyed so much, which was interesting to me because I love when men spoil me. Like, right. oh my God, I love surprising her with shit. Like when we went to Paris for my birthday, I'm the one who woke her up and was like, we're going here. We're getting a massage. I want to do this for you. Like, and I kind of almost see how men enjoy doing it for women. Like, mm -hmm. was I a trick? You, you have trick tendencies like a motherfucker. But we talked about this, not only with women, with men too. You but she, a whole sugar but she was also what like, is the, that? what's a trick? What is like that? A, she's a sugar mama. Oh. No, a trick is like, okay, so a now trick is, more, is really interested. She about to the fuck out there. Did he read her shirt? This is greedy. I know. I'm like, the shirt, you want to pay for everything? We're like two peas in a pod. Let's go. <laughs> no, but Sophia gets very rich white women around me, though. Okay. You pick up every tech. And she's like, no, I got it. I do. I'm the second I have one fucking tequila, I'm like, Everything is on oh me. Oh my God, Everybody. that's me. That is, it's, uh, that is me and I hate it. Like, I hate it literally, so bad. When I go out now, like with my friends, depending on what the night is, I'll give them my card. Because <laughs> once I start drinking, I'll be like, bar, I got <laughs> 20 shots right yes. here on me. And I'm like, Oof. I wake but up the next morning. That's what we work hard pissed. for. I'd be like, why did I spend $450 on shots? That'd be <laughs> mad too. I swear to God. And, and especially when I go to Orlando, when them shit's like, fold out, like, I'll be like, yeah. Is this is this the same liquor as in New York? <laughs> <laughs> Why is this so cheap? Right. I'm not going to front. I wanted to do an Amex claim when I woke up in the morning. I'm like, I couldn't have signed it the same way anyway. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's break a little ice. Yeah, even though we kind of know who you are, mm -hmm. these are some super basic ones. Okay. Would you rather have a one night stand with a stranger or <clears throat> your platonic best friend? Ooh. Now, I'm not your best friend. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, you guys don't mean one stuff? one night stand with a stranger. I, I mean, agree. I actually have hooked up with my best friend, A. Um, my other best friends, I that's something like I don't I don't want to cross the line kind of with certain people. It feels sistery. Yeah. But also, are you attracted to them? No. Okay, so okay, that's that why. don't count, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you don't want to fuck them. Oh, shit. Not, if not you have any friends because you don't find them fucking attractive. Well, but they're hot. No, they're hot women. To someone they're else. Just, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not to you. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Sorry if you're her friend. Apologies. No. <laughs> Mandy, you just recently slept with a friend. You told the story recently, on Recently, bitch, I fuck all my friends. Honestly, it's, it's going to happen. 
Okay, if but- I'm sexually attracted to you and we friends, you either going to fuck me by myself or you going to fuck me and my nigga. But it's going to happen. Do you think, so you recently had sex with Medina and you talked about it on our Patreon. Damn, that was supposed to be just Patreon. But it's something, <laughs> they heard the clip. The clip was that. Oh, I'm going to bust Tiana and her shit. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> that was the clip. She ain't here. No. It was, it was a good oh, teaser, though. Damn, a good yeah. teaser, yeah. It, cut, so it cut off at a good time, Dina, too. And it was great. But yeah, what about it? Okay. <laughs> so y'all aren't just friends. Y'all like, y'all aren't just casual friends. You talk all the time. Yeah. Do you feel like, because you said sexually attracted to, someone that you talk to that often, like, because to me, the closer I get to a friend, like a woman, the less that I, like, I could do that. Like, if we Me talked too. every day, I probably yeah. couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. What's the question? Like, did you not feel like it was you, you guys were too close or at no. any point? Was she the closest Bitch, friend you've ever had sex with? You the, you the one that be feeling like you got to have emotional connections to people you have sex with. You should be proud of me. I'm emotionally tied to my friends and then we have sex. Right, but I'm talking about being weird after. <laughs> it's, there's nothing weird. because I get what you're saying, It's Nick. only weird after You're telling sex. me Medina, as emo as Medina is, she never like even brought that up to so you? So here's the thing. I think that it's only weird if it's bad. But if okay. you Ooh, if you point. really have good sex together and it was fun, now you're looking at it like a girl's night out. Bitch, that was fun as fuck last night, uh -huh. wasn't it? So I feel like as long as like you're both pleased, you enjoyed it and nothing weird happened as far as like boundaries weren't crossed or it legit just wasn't good. I think you can literally go into still having a good friendship because bitch, it ain't like I would do it again. We both admitted after we, we talked through, you know. Making sure everyone was comfortable through so the whole talk, thing. Yeah. We talked after. Well, yeah, because she also fucked my boyfriend. So I had to make sure <laughs> he ain't crossed no lines. But he did the same. Like, we check in with everyone we have sex with the next morning. Uh, and Oh, you do? We, oh, like we check pillow in. talk? Like, yeah. ooh, how did it feel when his dick like went in you? Yeah. Or, yeah. There was a time where she was on the floor. Did she have a pillow down there? I don't know if she had a pillow down there, but she, had, she didn't have a problem because she fucked him the next morning. But while do you I was on call my that pillow talk? What? Fuck you. <laughs> it was a dumb thing. Don't listen to her. But basically, I had a threesome with somebody. And I went to sleep on the couch to be respectful. And my man came and got me in the middle of the night, put the girl on the floor, and me and him slept in the bed. Oh, shit. Look at Mandy's fucking ego. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I don't t bring it up ever again. I'm really? not ashamed of it at all. I'm like, I think that was so fun. But it's not like, hey, like, and we talk through it. Or if you had a really, like, okay, say it's not your friend. If you had really bomb sex with a mm -hmm. man to where you definitely want to have it again, are you guys not talking about what was so good about the sex with each other? Like, you don't talk about it at all? I mean, yeah, yes. But I guess for some reason, like, if it's a threesome or if I've hooked up with women, we don't. Mm -hmm. I also have hooked up with, I think most, well, not really, but so a lot of the women I've hooked up with it was like their first time. And Not then, you being the mark. <laughs> you were the leader. <laughs> but like the yeah. fake bisexual. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you call so, them when you're like drunk, but by. What do you mean? Because I've heard a term for trisexual. That. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Once oh. you're drunk, you'll try. Right, right, right. Oh, you'll try everything. <laughs> you'll try whatever. <laughs> right. Yes. So okay, you had sex with your best friend. Was another person there? Or was my boyfriend. So my boyfriend oh. and I fucked my best friend. I know that's right. Okay, see, that's probably why it was easier. Yes, yes. And her and I had like done stuff before. Wait, was that recent? You told me you guys had never had a threesome. No, no, no. That wasn't recent. That was like like forever ago. Okay. So, so you had sex with your boyfriend with your best friend. Mm-hmm. And her and I, her and I talked about it beforehand. Like she, I was, she was like, are you okay with it? Are you okay with it 50 times? Which I appreciated. Him, on the other hand, I like actually over time, like started to resent him. Not for that particular okay. one, but that one on top of just a whole bunch of like shit, you know? So never that, my best that's, friend. That's crazy that you even think like, so everything else he did, whatever it was, for whatever reason, your resent and dis distaste towards him included the threesome, even though you enjoyed it? I think it included... All the threesomes that we had ever done. And I think the fact that it was my best friend, that one was like kind of at the top of the list, but he was just like a piece of shit. Okay, tell us, because we talked last week about what could make a threesome bad. What could make, what could go bad from your partner? Like what? Mm. If you don't trust this guy 100%, the trust. unwavering just like loyalty, 
it's not going to work. Because mm-hmm. you're automatically going to assume that he's going to try to do something oh, else with that girl. Oh, listen to this. You guys will fucking love this. Uh-oh. We did a threesome with a girl and we drove her home the next day and she sat in the front seat. <gasps> I sat in the back seat. Excuse wow. me? Why? What? Yeah. She just she just sat in there and like he was already driving and I just Nada. got in the back Nada. and I was just like, I didn't even know how to take it in. And then I later on caught them texting, but that front seat shit and me sitting in the back seat, just like, that was it for me. I was I'm, like, not, really I'm not going to lie with, with, we talked about it when well, you had a throuple. Ex, so my ex-girlfriend, yes. we were already arguing though, but she said something, which is crazy because to this day, they're actually closer than we, when we were in the throuple, we're all still friends, but they're actually closer than him and I are. Mm-hmm. And she made this comment. We were already fighting. We go home. And she goes, and see, I'm in the back seat again. And I was like, and she was like, you're always in the fucking front seat. What the fuck is that? You never even think to put me in the front seat. And I was like, oh my God. The front seat is a thing. It started hitting me. And so my excuse, I was like, well, he don't know how to drive and you're drunk. Like, he don't know where we're going. Like, let me just like, (laughs) I didn't know what to say, but I was like, she's so right. And now let me ask both of y'all this then. Not a relationship. You with your man and his homeboy. Do you expect the homeboy to get out and let you in the front seat and them sit in the back? Not if what? they're big. <laughs> There's more room in the back seat. No, dude's stretching their legs out. You don't want to cramp them in a back seat. Honestly, they're, I, I luckily hang out with gentlemen, but my man's friends have always been like, oh, and I'm like, no, 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 it's cool. Sit in the front. I, I ain't gonna hold you. I'm I, sitting up front. I didn't have, are? I got flued out one time and his friend was at the house and we left to get food and he got on the front seat and I looked at him like he was crazy. I said, are you sucking his dick? Okay, then <laughs> get the fuck in the back seat. I, would like, move I was not going to sit in the back seat. Like, no, nigga. Actually, that's a really good point. Just in general, the woman should stay in the front. You're a couple, so. like, which is probably why your I girlfriend think, felt I, away. I think that's why you're always like, men should always offer. I just don't care. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm not like, I'm just like, whatever, sit with your friend. (laughs) But also also we're in New York. I barely get in a fucking car where we have to drive. Yeah. Okay. Now, like my bougie ass, the way it goes, if it's like three of us, because you can't sit in the front Uber anymore, I'm like, someone's getting a black car because I'm not (laughs) doing that (laughs) because I'm a total cunt about it. Okay. Next icebreaker. Let go. Would you rather have... Uh, accidental, accidentally sent nudes to a stranger or to your parents? Because here's the thing. Not a caveat. I feel like you could say a stranger, but you need to remember you're famous. Mm. <laughs> so like, that know stranger that. could be like, is that Sophia with an F's P? <laughs> Fuck. Damn. And my face is in it, obviously. Mm-hmm. I but- sent it to my mom. Oh. Me too. Okay. I'd send it to my mom. Yeah, if it my was- dad's not in the picture though. My dad was in the picture, then I don't know. Is that like kind of weird? Wait, if your dad was in the nude? No. Wait, like I, wait, I don't what, I don't talk to my dad. You talk, what picture I don't you know, girl, like she's not he's not involved. Pictures, bro. No. What's no. <laughs> what? Don't look at me like that, bro. Girl, come on. No, you know what the fuck she was I was about. raised. You don't know my life. I was raised by a single mom. <laughs> oh. So I'm like, if the nude is oh, sent to my okay. mom, whatever. Oh, if it's sent to my if dad. If present. If my dad okay. got the nude, I don't know. Maybe that would kind of change okay. it. Okay. Are we good? Is that a fair thing? I'd rather my mom see my pussy than my dad. I'm and imagine this. how your mom would feel if your dad was in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> that would be crazy. First of all, we have not oh. even heard from him. <laughs> oh, God. This is so bad. All right. Let's get to the fucking vanilla shit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. There's an invention. Mandy always talks shit about me because I like to fuck. I don't like it, you but do. I will. Uh-huh, you do. I'm a fucker my period because it's a long one. You have a fucking three day period. I know. Just sit here and tell everyone I'm God's chosen, bitch. How Damn. Many, how, many, <laughs> how many days is your period? Well, after I got the vaccine, my period's fucked up. By the way, that's Ooh. the thing. Mm. But usually, I would okay, say like Nicki Minaj, four, four to five days. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means? We don't. <laughs> okay, yeah. Shut the fuck up. What? You, know you don't know means, about right? her cousin's balls. The testicles. No. His uh, testicles were swollen, oh, swollen, allegedly, allegedly from the vaccine. So Nikki and, 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 and his wedding got called off. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> okay. You, this was like global news. Yeah. Fox News was talking about right. this. Twitter was talking about it. Black Which, Twitter was talking about it. I don't know shit that's going on in the world, honestly. Oh, okay. Not even a lot of stuff. Because of Utah. 
Yeah, it's probably. Oh. That could, it's a flyover, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. A thousand percent. Do people fuck their cousins there or just their 10 wives? No, they fuck their cousins. Oh, wait. They, I was invited. Like Alabama? I was, I was invited to a wedding. I talked about this on my episode, like, I think it was like four weeks ago. And I was invited to this girl from work's wedding who was marrying her first cousin. Get the fuck out of I here. I swear to God. I swear to God. I worked um. with her like four years ago. That shit happens. And if you go to Costco, it's like one dude. So they're not going to have women. Wait, do they have kids already? Huh? Do they have kids already? Um, No. Okay. No. Penny, don't oh. say it. <laughs> no, don't. no, no, no. no, no. Wait, wait. And that was my first thought, too. Uh-oh. <laughs> we are wait, not going. Wait, what did I do? I'm Nothing. just, you know. I, we talking about incest here, bitch. <sighs> But it's that true. is the truth. It's science, it's right? It's true. If you want to sit here and talk about science, I thought you don't believe in science. And I don't, but I know something be happening when when it happened. I know <laughs> with my offspring. <laughs> no, it's true. If they were third cousins, I might be like, mm, uh, mm, but first cousins, that I'm baby's like, gonna Jesus. come out. Oh, you know what? Third cousin, you probably ran into each other somewhere and been like, it's through marriage. Hold on. Some... How you know Jean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> like, but first cousins? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, that's a lot. Okay, yes. wait. So how did you know it was her cousin? She told me. She told me the whole story. This is when I worked um, at the finance <laughs> company. She told me the whole story. And she was like, I know it's really fucking crazy, but, you know, we're just in love. And, like, that's just what happens. She was she's very honest about it. You know what? Uh, I, I mean, tell me. Now, if this was a black family, because we already know you're talking shit at a wedding. Oh, everybody is. Everybody. everybody. I feel like white people might keep it to themselves and text each other later. But black <laughs> people are going to be at that wedding sitting sister to sister like, now, bitch, did you think when I was pregnant <laughs> that we was going to end up at the same <laughs> split in the wedding, bitch? What? Okay, <laughs> this is just that's ghetto. Yeah, that's that's. Hold on, but now that I think about it, the last time you were up here, you were telling us about Real Housewives Salt Lake City, where she was fucking her grandfather. Mm-hmm. Oh fuck! Yeah, and, yeah, I, and guess what? That's the black one. I know. That's Mary. Miss Mary ain't shit, baby. <laughs> and now they calling her goddamn church a cult. It's some shit. Okay, they call what? Her church a cult. Why? I want to go to it so bad. You have to go for research purposes. I will. I will. And I'll report back. I got it. I have to. Why do they say it's a cult? I don't know. We don't know yet. We're yeah, we don't know. We're going to find out. This is like me wanting to go up to the Scientology building because I could see it from my apartment. Yeah. And I'd be looking at it and I'd be like, damn. I mean, that's how I invite everybody to the sex club. Research purposes. Y'all just got to come so I can. I love that. Hear y'all's experience. But see, I know they're going to and- get me. Cause they, Ooh, Scientology? Scientology? Anybody will get me because they're going to just tell me, like, have you been depressed? And I'll be like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be fucked. Okay. Back to period sex, not cousin fucking. <laughs> so there is a new invention, apparently, that's going to make period sex way hotter. So Mandy has come up here and talked about a sponge, mm-hmm. how you can put a sponge in you. And we've had like a few girls talk about that. No. Dr. Kim. I don't know what episode that was. I think it was 17. She was like, fuck no. She doesn't say fuck. But basically, what they're saying that they've made is a product called Flex. It's a single-use disposable menstrual product. So it's an alternative to tampons or pads. It's not an alternative, sorry. But basically, it's like... um, it's a flex. Thing. It doesn't just sit inside of the vagina it like a pelvic. tampon on a menstrual cup. So not their pelvics. It sits on your cervix. It there covers cervix. the cervix. I know what so it, it with stops it. the fluids from entering. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was one of them things. What? <laughs> I'm for- kudos to you. So it covers the cervix so it stops the fluids from entering the vaginal canal and it could be worn for 12 hours and apparently it won't cause toxic shock. So a woman made it, which we like to know. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But basically she's saying... She was horrified from all the inventions um, that she'd been seeing over the years. And 20,000 people have signed up to trial it. 25% of the people that signed up are actually men. So they're, you know, testing it out. They're pitching it to investors. But I'll at least say this much. I don't know if I want anything that's trial period in my pussy. Mm. Like Vinny did a trial period for the fucking vaccine. And I remember every time he came to New York, I was like thinking he was going to like turn a different color. And shit. Like I was scared. Yeah. So I'm not putting it in my pussy. Hell no. Well, maybe it depends how much it is. Mm-hmm. I'm not. How much would you take? I, how, what? How much money? 20,000. To you, do the trial. Real thing? quick. Real quick. I do. No, I do no want to say, money. too, this is it's past trial. This article is from 2017. I know I've heard of it. Flex is actually a real thing now. 
Like I, it's a real disc. Right, right, right. I was gonna say it is from 2017. Yeah. So this, so while it was a trial, it clear. I, I want to say it's FDA approved now. Like it, the biodegradable material that it's used out of is it's it's healthy for you. Okay. Girl, I, I know I, I use a big right? word, bitch. Damn. Don't see that. Multiple <laughs> syllables. Biodegrade and then a bull. Like I just knew how to say it because you could really break that thought, word down. Is it biodegradable? The bull. Yep. The bull. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, for those of you who are scared to have sex with people in their periods, whether it be your own period or your partner's period or whatever, here's five reasons that you could kind of gloss over it. Okay. Gloss over to what? Period sex. The blood? It's a lot of lube. Okay. <laughs> the consistency of it would be that of like a heavier semen, right? It feels good. It's like sticky. Yeah. Oh, also, yay, sticky blood. It <laughs> reduces period cramps, which this is definitely true. So I have really, really, really bad cramps um, and endometriosis. And people tell me all the time, like if you masturbate, uh, the orgasms alleviate the cramps. Well, one of the most common PMS symptoms being cramps, um, the muscle contraction during an orgasm helps to produce endorphins, make you happy or whatever. 100% now, true. You do have an increased sex drive on your period. Um, maybe the first day of your period, you may just want to watch TV, eat ice cream, but later after that, you will experience a heightened sex drive during menstruation. Also, it's technically a form of intimacy that is really intense because once you get to that point with someone, you know you're really <laughs> comfortable. And it says oral sex is okay too. <clears throat> Here you go with this bullshit. The <laughs> clit is the main oh, focal she's point. So annoying. <laughs> the clit is the main focal point of the fem of female pleasure, and it is a less bloody location. Now that's, that's true. You guys know. All right, Eden. I did eat a pussy on a period, but I didn't see any blood. It was Aisha, the girl that we interviewed with. with um, I didn't want to say the girl we interviewed with the girl in the wheelchair, but it was. I don't remember her name. You ate the girl in a wheelchair? No. We had that girl in a wheelchair and you no, were. Did, did, you, did you hear how she said it though? Yes. I'm but... trying to understand. And that wasn't an episode I was here for. So I'm just trying to understand. Was her the name, girl that was with was her. Was her name Ashley? I think her name was Ashley. But she was our first disabled guest. And she came in um, and Aisha interviewed her with me. And she. Uh -huh. You made out with Aisha. <laughs> Oh, that's the one I made out with. Yes. Oh. That's what pussy I ate. That's different. I was drunk. We was at a sex club. Of course, I'm going to make out with somebody. Tricycle. And then she didn't even tell me she fucked you until after we made out. Wow. Well, she probably thought you knew. How? How? Because she was on your podcast talking about us <laughs> fucking, Mandy. I ain't watched that episode. You don't know that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you think I know people when I'm drunk? Bitch, she just looked pretty in the dark. So I was like... <laughs> <laughs> well anyway what was really funny was and she fucked my nigga that night didn't she or no she left <laughs> early I don't think she did but she was around us okay sorry I <laughs> don't know who she fucked Mandy I just know thank god it wasn't you cause if we had to have fucked this not Eskimo sisters uh, off some pussy that, that's crazy well you said off some pussy off some pussy yeah cause pussy. you guys are already not with pussy. I thought you guys fucked the same dude, like in high oh, school or something. Oh, we didn't fuck shit. him. Yeah, no, she, that was. But he was still my man. Oh, he was okay. my boyfriend, but you I wasn't fucking fight. yet. He was mine. He gave me a Care Bear on Christmas, and Weezy got nothing. Okay. Wow. So he, it was your boyfriend, and neither of you guys because we were him? young, bro. I was oh, like okay. a freshman in high okay. school. Okay, okay, got it. And then he was grown. I didn't want to like open up wounds. Like I, just, you, you I did, just, you you did it just a little bit. Fuck him. That's why he worked at a fucking Walgreens. Wow. He could. That's why he got you that Care Bear, bitch. Uh -uh. <laughs> well, it came with also a day at Disney World. With his discount? Thank you. And we did multiple parks. We did Disney and Epcot, bitch. Did you only go to one? <laughs> Epcot oh is in God. Disney. Oh. There are two different parks, pussy. There's, there's Magic Kingdom and then there's Epcot. Thank you. Sorry. I fucking can't um, stand you. I know you can't. <laughs> we, I, you know what? I'm like not even kidding, Mandy. I really want us to find him. I remember. Oh, bitch, time. I thought you was going to say fight. I was about to be like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I want us to find him. Because he in Brooklyn now. Oh, yes. We you guys found, found him on Facebook. Facebook remember? Why don't you guys we gotta have him on the show? On the show. Yeah, what yeah, the fuck? We have to have him on the show. I don't know if I want people to see who we fought over, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, they gonna be like, <laughs> no, 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 Mandy, giving? Mandy, we have to do it. We have to do it. We have to do it. Have to. You think he would come on? Yo, you, mm, <laughs> his baby yes. mama couldn't stand me. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I was and really, she went to high school with me, so she couldn't stand me either when we when we broke up. 
She wasn't even cute. She but wasn't a, at all. She like I thought y'all trying to have him. She looked like a whole oompa loompa. She did. A I, what? And a I, oompa loompa. And I didn't even feel like now in this moment I feel bad because I probably like said really mean things. I like, called her fat, and I wish I could take those back. She she's not like I, I should never called her fat. I should have called her ugly. So that's what she is. <laughs> right, pause. You're not gonna have him on now. Because fat bitches be fine, but like you weren't pretty at all. That's why I said oompa loompa, bitch. Rolly poly oldy. No, let's bring him on. That okay. baby gotta be 16, Mandy. The age we were when we fucked with him. Oh no, you Interview his kid. Bring his kid on and just talk no, to him. No, stop it. Like, what's your dad no, no, like? No, no, the kid gotta be at least, at least 12, bitch. At least 12. <laughs> no, Mandy. I was 15. Oh, that's right. That baby is fucking talking shit and fucking too. That baby is listening to our motherfucking episode right Bro, now. We're hitting what? him up. What? And you know what? Mandy's gonna be so annoyed during this episode. Why? Because look, she for when, what? when Mandy I was the looks at him, I was the girlfriend. What would I be fucking bitch, mad you were about? Not the girlfriend. Yes, I was. That's I, why yo, bro. Her, I open up some shit. You did. I, I, I told Sophia you. Why? You the fire. I, I, I told you why. again. Sophia's going to listen to this. Gonna be like, they're fun. I thought bye. we were gonna just and then move right along. Nope. I didn't know it was gonna be this. This is a Throw big down. wound. No, you did it on purpose. No, I swear on my life, I didn't. I swear on my life, I did not. Okay, fine. After the fucking period, sex benefits. These are uh, the tips around it. So making sure that just because you're on your period, like have sex with a condom still because you are way more susceptible to STDs because, you know, everything's all open and shit and it's blood. But a lot of people don't use condoms because they're like, well, I can't get pregnant. Well, you can still get chlamydia. Um, Make sure you talk to your partner and let them know you're bleeding before it happens. Don't pull a surprise. Mm. I've definitely done that. I'm not saying it was right. I've just been like, what? Uh, you pushed it on your dick's so big and that isn't fair <laughs> um, make sure to remove a feminine product before it, even if it's a menstrual cup remove whatever you have on dark colored towels um and yeah wait i want to ask you so when you went down on the girl she was on her period did she have a tampon in? like mm-hmm. was there a tampon string sticking out I also want to say I was in the influence of drugs and alcohol. Okay. I would have waited. But okay. first we were scissoring because she told me she was on her period. And I was like, damn, I'm so horny. So we scissored and she was still coming, which was, I mean, it's her clit. And then I guess I just got so horny. I started eating it. But like nothing was going on. I, I, not, you, not, a lot was going on. If you stay up top, like it's no issue. Yeah. I really think. If what? Is really if you stay <laughs> up top and like you're just on her clit, I think it's no issue if she's on her There's period. There's not. I agree. Ooh, Mandy is was, giving me a look like she whoa. is pissed. Okay, I look gross. It's like you just have to like <laughs> obviously treat the area before you get to it. But hospital dick, like I would always try to tell him no because I wear pads. It's not like I plug it up. Yeah, same. And I remember he I would be too. like, "Really? Yeah, I wear pads. That's so funny. Everyone's always like, that's gross.' You don't wear tampons not Mandy? anymore. Why, bitch? Because uh, I don't learned all the healthy shit about it, and they not healthy at all. Mm-mm. And I actually noticed my because you don't wear underwear. That's why. I, I have was, I have like four pairs when I'm on my period. Good for you. I have like four <laughs> pairs of drawers. Um, no, I and then I do like the big boy shorts when I go to sleep. But yeah, no, I wear pads now. It actually eliminated like my third day. So I really only have first day of period. Second day is heavy. Last day is spotting. But like I used to have like that fourth day with like brown blood. No longer get that because that's the oxidated blood that's stuck in there coming out. Mm. I don't get that anymore. Um, and just... When you shove it up there, like we, you talked earlier about toxic shock syndrome, like there's just a lot of unhealthy things about using tampons yeah. that if I don't have to use it, like, bitch, if I'm not going swimming, I have no reason to use a tampon. That's how I feel. Also, what I've noticed, the organic tampons. Oh, my God. My periods are shorter. Wait, really? Yes. I notice they kind of hurt to pull, to pull out. out. Yeah. Like they're so, they're so dry. dry. Oh, I dry. use organic pads and my period's a little shorter. Yeah, but the tampons too. Yeah, they hurt. Like, yeah, those yeah. things like, yeah. yeah. Okay, Maybe because yeah, that blood isn't that chemical. luby, like you said, huh? Huh? Wow. The blood isn't that luby, huh? No, it's <laughs> Not if the tampon is scraping coming out. Mm, I'm just oh, saying. Wow. Fine. <laughs> let's stick on some bloody topics. <laughs> you know, so let's for bloody for bloody something sake. There you go. I don't know. But there anyway, you go with the oxen. So uh, the, the main oxen. topic. Do you have any stories for us about blood? Period blood. You having sex on your period. Um, maybe anal sex with some blood. Any story? I feel like they're <laughs> not true. <laughs> Is that mine by the way? 
don't know. I think that's mine. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, well, I gave her a fresh one. Oh. Okay, everybody's like trying to like get their mouth on my bottle. Sorry. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm trying to think of a story with period blood. I feel like it's just the same. Get it for you. There's nothing like really interesting that happens. It's we put down a towel, we do it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think so. Have you ever had a guy like bring your period on, quote unquote, and you were like, you didn't they, know we'd be lying. It? Go ahead and tell the people we'd be lying when we say that. Mainly we'd be lying. We know we, we, know we was spotting that day and then he don't went up in there and then now it's flowing. Bitch. Y'all lied to us? <laughs> we'd be lying, talking about, oh, your dick is so big, it hit my period on early. No, bitch, you wiped that morning pink and just thought you could get away with it. That's crazy. That's really what <laughs> I <it> definitely <laughs> have. <laughs> you have? Yeah, oh we'd be lying. What do you think's gonna happen? Then you're like, whoops. <laughs> or what? <laughs> I just be feeling like, he's gonna be like, damn, you're wet as fuck. And then what? You turn the lights on? And That's then it's a crazy. massacre, bitch. <laughs> yeah. And I'd be like, what? <laughs> um, let me see. With gay sex, um, definitely like, because my ex-girlfriend and I, because we didn't live in the same city. It was, I do have a story. It was hard to sync up. Tell us. I just cut you off. but like, I just, No, we want no, to hear about you. No, because I really want to know if you guys do this. When you're laying in bed and you are like so horny and you want to fuck. This is when I was wearing tampons. That's another reason I like pads. But when I was wearing tampons, have you ever just pulled it out, set it on the nightstand? Um, just set it next to you, your tampon. You didn't go to the bathroom, flush it down the toilet. You just set it down. Like, like a tea bag? For what? <laughs> <laughs> For him to fuck. Because you have to take it out. Mm-hmm. You guys have never done that. Ma'am, I don't do period sex. This is for y'all. This Hold is your away. conversation. This is y'all segment. You can like, no, we were like so in the moment and I was like, I'm just going to rip it out and just set it down and I'll take care of it like when we're done fucking. Do you remember to do it? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. We had interviewed a guy once, Dante Nero. Shout out to Dante. Oh. And he said he fucking took it out with his teeth. With his teeth. That's ballsy. Is that yeah. sexy to you? No. <laughs> me neither. So, no. Yeah. But I have like literally just set it down next to me. I want to put it in a nap. You know what I have sat down next to me? The braids that fall out during sex. <laughs> oh, no. I just, throw them, I just throw them on the side of the bed. I, I'm like, Because <laughs> when I was wearing human hair with the loose ends, I was like, girl, I was saved. That shit is like $300 an ounce. Fuck <laughs> no. But I will say this. With tampons and period sex, like, I go to the bathroom always before and, like, try to clean everything out around it just because I'm hoping that there's they would lick my clit. Mm-hmm. And, like, you know, sometimes you get those remnants. <laughs> remnants? <laughs> What's the remnants of? Yeah, what is the remnants? <laughs> she about to talk about blood clot remnants and I am about to <laughs> no, leave. No, no, blood, no, no, blood clot no, no, remnants? No, 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 no. Leave. I was going to say sometimes, like, if you're wearing a pad, like, and it gets dry, like, you have to make sure you clean your entire vulva. <laughs> oh, okay. No. Yeah. God damn. Uh-uh. We can move on though. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Sophia, you're such a podcaster. I know that's right. I like and let's about segue dirty sex. to the next topic. Okay. Let's tell us about a time you had really dirty sex that you felt ashamed of after. Like you felt like you should go back to your Utah Ooh, roots. I already know. Mm. I already know. You know, like every girl has a list of like the guys they fuck. Yeah. So she claims she doesn't know. I don't one. do that. Do you know the name Girl, of every single nigga, dude no, you fuck? No, I didn't have a nigga DM me like, you don't remember? I do not remember you, <laughs> okay. sir. I don't be remembering people. I know, it's fucked up. Like, he talking about Atlanta. I said, I'm supposed to remember you from 09? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I do not. There's been a lot of stuff, a lot of traffic. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Like, I remember, like, I did fuck this, like, tattoo artist with green eyes. Couldn't tell you his name. I could walk by him today. I don't know that man. <laughs> I would not know who that man is. It's fucked up kind of though. I it mean, is. It is kind of. It is. So I have my list and all there's like a few on there that one of them is San Francisco guy. Oh I my know God, I, I have him. one of those. I have firemen. Oh really? Ooh, I want to hear about that. So I go to San Francisco. I think it was like when I was in college. We're uh, dancing. I'm at a random club. Me and this dude start like grinding, dancing. I whisper to him, let's go fuck right now. Go into the bathroom, fuck in the bathroom stall, okay? He pulls his pants up. I pull my shit out. We go back in the club. I never see him again. Wow. That's, what? I think that's, pro- I'm like, I pray we use a condom. Like, I don't fucking know. You definitely know. didn't. I, <laughs> I mean, right. oh my, wow. not you pray. You got some Years high later, hopes, You did it. Baby. You did it. There's no fucking way we did. But like, that was like, Damn, dude, I 
would love to have sex like that. I read this thing about. It's not that fun. I was about to say, if you never saw him again, it's because it probably wasn't good. No, like mm. a sexy, like hot, like random moment. Lil Wayne talked about that in an interview about how he had sex with a flight attendant without talking. He said that like the flight attendant and him didn't speak English. Like she didn't speak. They couldn't communicate, but she met him in a bathroom. That's hot as fuck. Huh. Okay. I want it. That's like all intuition. Basically. Yeah. I. I mean, or it's fucking Lil Wayne. <laughs> I was about to say You know that. what I mean? I mean? Like, of course. Mm-hmm. Also. And flight attendants be hoes. I'm sorry if you a flight attendant, <laughs> but I know a lot of y'all want to be flight attendants so y'all can fly yourself. No, Vinny too. Oh, he yeah. wants to be a flight attendant so he can fuck. So he can go fuck all these different dicks in different cities. I believe that. Yeah, me too. Worldwide dick. Huh? Worldwide dick. So when you got Worldwide. a hoe and a, <laughs> a famous rapper, of course. No yes. words have to be said. So there's a thing about anonymous sex, though. Generally, it's a thing that happens in gay, you know, uh, acquaintances, rendezvous or whatever. Gay men normally do that. But it's because either they are partnered or DL or something like that. Why are we not doing that more? Why don't Girl, we? a lot of us are. <laughs> and we do not. Anonymous sex? Bro. Outside of a sex club, Mandy. You don't remember when I watched you in Miami? But she was having anonymous sex. It wasn't anonymous. I just met. We met him in the club. You never talked to that man again. What makes him anonymous? What's the difference between a one night stand and anonymous sex? Anonymous is like no names, no nothing exchanged, and no talking. It's like bathroom, fuck, never talk again. We went from club, hotel. That's That's a one night stand. You guys talked in the car. Ooh, Plus so we were because hanging you out. have a conversation, it's not <laughs> anonymous. Like she I know, didn't make it past the fucking club. But man. like I know mad strangers that I've talked to, and to me, they're still anonymous. So I anonymous is nothing exchanged. Now you know what's crazy about her telling the story. <laughs> <laughs> For the longest time, I was like, I've never had a one night stand. I literally placed that memory back, and we were doing horrible decisions. She was like, Yes, you have. I was like, No, I have. I was right in the room she on was the like, almond, I was right. and I was. They was right behind me, and she was like, Don't look. So I literally just sat there like <laughs> this because at the time, I don't think we were safe enough to just. She wasn't going to send me to the lobby, oh, but I, yeah. she also didn't want me to watch. So I literally sat at the end of the Why bed. Why can't you just go to the bathroom? What? <laughs> I mean, because I was a real security guard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See? Have you ever watched your friend have sex for safety? For safety? No. <laughs> like, yes, I've watched that. Okay, tell us what a time you watched your friend have sex and you didn't know. Maybe, like, it wasn't planned. Ooh, I woke up out of a dead sleep to, like, my one of my girlfriends, like, her head getting banged against the headboard. A guy that was Jeez. not there earlier fucking her. <laughs> oh. so, like, at least put a pillow in between us. Or at least, give, like, heads up, like, I'm having a guy come over. Wait, you were in the bed? I was in the bed with him. I woke <laughs> up from a deep sleep, like, why is the bed shaking? Did you stay Oh, asleep? you on the West Coast, you thought it was an earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> What this is three point two. I mean, I let her do her thing, but you did you let everybody know you were awake? No, I pretended to be asleep. I would. That's how nice I am. I was like, ooh, I'm just gonna close my eyes and like let them do their thing. If they, you are a really good friend. I though. am. If they would have kept fucking for like over an hour, then I would have been like, let's enough. But <laughs> so I don't think I would. I think I would have to fake sleep too, just because if I woke up, I wouldn't want him to be like, well, let me just right, right. Oh, that's where my mind went. Right? If you fucking in the bed with me, ne- like next to me, I might slide over and just see if y'all move my hand or not. And if y'all don't, all right. Now we about <laughs> to have some fun, y'all. So have you ever, um, what was I going to say? And this is for you, Mandy. Have you ever had sex? Because recently you've been having sex with only women, not other men. Have you had sex with another woman and their guy wanted to join in? You were like, eh. oh, that happens all the time. How do you turn really? them down? That happens all the time. Especially the do you blame club. it on your boyfriend? No. I just, I, I'm not, in, like, especially in the sex club setting, I'm not interested in men outside of my man. And so, no, I'm there for women. Why not the sex be- club setting? Because you're down to talk to guys outside of it. Yeah, but I told you I want a car or a Cuban link. Like, I don't, I'm not talking to men you to You can't to know see them. what they have going on because their dick is out. No, because not everyone is naked in the sex club. Like, I can approach too with that's with a good question. Men with clothes. Can you tell <laughs> men with clothes? Can you tell who's got money? What was the word you used last? In week? a sex club, write no. it up. In oh, a sex club, no. Shit. In a sex club, but you're not there as a prostitute. You're not there as a sex worker. You're there because you enjoy sex. So maybe just my mind isn't set into looking for watches or mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Looking for and everyone there is just so hospitable. Like no one is flashy. <laughs> Don't do that. They are. I'm sorry. They it's are cause, hospitable. It's cause, have you been to a sex club before? No, I haven't. I so want to. Mandy's going to throw a sex party. You have to come to our new yeah, show. You have to. I'm you have to come. 
Is he cool? What? It's at a sex club after? Yeah. What? Yeah. Not our live But show. I want to go when there's like the real patrons of the sex club. Are they going to so be there? I, so the I actually patron. have a whole community um, and oh. I'll be wa- texting them on WhatsApp. You know how I'm the mayor cops. of Tulum? So I want, I want some Maybe regular. he's the things. mayor of the sex club. Uh, like, <laughs> damn. Like literally. And, and what I want to do as well, I'm actually looking into it. So shout out to all of our listeners in all the different cities. I, I'm trying to coordinate play parties after all of our live show. Oh, I love um, that. I'm not familiar with DC sex club. So if you're in DC and are aware of a sex club, please hit me up. Um, but I do have Atlanta that I'm looking to talk to. There's got to be something on split. I'm looking. No, but even <laughs> LA, all of my friends that I bring to the sex club, I'm now like the fucking field trip guy to but the sex club. But you like doing it though, so stop. I do because, I, well, duh, we end up fucking. But like, <laughs> not all of them, by the way. But when we go to the sex club, like they're all like, damn, they go back to their cities to find some. And I don't know in L.A. where to go. Like, bitch, you out there, you need to go be doing some research. People have just invited me to Chris Brown's house, which I heard is a sex club in its own. And Jamie Foxx's. They really? have like whole ass orgies. Yeah. I have yeah. like literally every time I go out and I'm like, where did everybody go now? And you go to Barry's Pizza and I'm fucking tired of that goddamn lobster <laughs> pizza because every that's all people do. Or they go to Chris Brown's house. That's crazy. Which wow. I have never been to and don't want to go to. Mm-hmm. But like literally, I'm like... What do you guys do there? And people are like, oh my God, it's so much funny. It's a game room. They like do a party and then you go back. (laughs) But you know what though? If you think about it, if there are no places to go to a sex party, right? Right. And you're a girl, maybe you're thinking like, okay, because when we think about a sex club and I know like we've had good experiences, you sometimes think it'll be seedy or nasty or gross. So you probably think if you're going to a fucking rich person's mansion or celebrity's mansion, like, well, this is going to be nice. The beds are going to be memory foam. Like, this is going to be a good time. <laughs> like, there might be some, like, good options in here. But um, other than that, no. What's the Jamie Foxx tea? I don't really know, but I just know that you go there, you sign NDAs, and a lot. it's like, if you're not fucking leave. Not Katie what? Holmes, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I don't know if this is a recent thing, but this is, like, just a, a Hollywood thing. Okay. I, I heard that that's where the parties go. Can I also just say, as someone, it's not like I watched Dawson's Creek for real. But when I saw Katie Holmes and Jamie Foxx, like, that just really threw me for one. I was like, (laughs) they are playing. There's no way. How you go from Tom Cruise, Scientology King. I know. To Jamie the (laughs) Foxx. What the fuck? Like, that shit is wild. Oh, and Uh, then she started dating the guy that owns Carbone or, like, the manager or something. She must have some good pussy. Why? Because she's getting, like, like, uh, powerful men. She has power and money so if you're around those type of men those are probably going to be the type of guys you attract the same reason why now you're in these parties with all these celebrities and now you out here fucking all these celebrities like i didn't say i was fucking all these celebrities i'm getting there i have not yet you're getting there one guy invited me to a rendezvous and i said i can't do it because i'm trying to be respected but to be honest (laughs) (laughs) can i be real with you fucking kenya and i had a conversation recently and he was like wheeze like people like because a lot of people are like coming up to me a lot of this shit like trying to have me help them make them productions or introduce them to my boss or like do whatever like help me make this help me make this because they know i maneuver in these worlds now he's like bro like people haven't fucked you yet so like this is like prime time yep. to fuck no to like not fuck. fucking leverage like 100%. what the fuck i'm doing he's like you're gonna keep making money because you're not throwing the pussy out there and i'm like but you keep having me go to these parties for work <laughs> and i'm just like fuck. do you think about how much business you get done just because the guy wants to fuck you oh a hundred percent so I'll like you can't happen. like you can't be out there fucking you. there's two things that happen to women that are powerful one pretty is a curse so they either think you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. And this happened to me when yep. I was working in tech. Mm-hmm. They either think you don't know what you're talking about or they want you so bad that they'll do anything you say. Yes. And that's well, just the truth. Well, no, even if they think you don't know what you're talking about, they try to take advantage of you and like still try to like hook it up though. I right. Like. But that's what they'll just do what you want. Okay, I'll get this. I'll do this. All right, we'll make this work. We'll do this. Like I'm like using that shit all the time. Like even my business partner here, he knows. If, some, if we can't get a price for something for the studio, he's like, we usually call so-and-so. And I'm like, What's going on? You because, would say the dumb thing. Yeah, I just don't understand. If the cameras are Sony AXR and the <laughs> other one's AL3, like, why are they different? 
<laughs> I don't give a fuck, bitch. What? If I need to act stupid, if I need to pull my titties out, I will get a deal. Mm-hmm. There is Judaism in my blood. Do you think we won't do anything for a deal? <laughs> we do anything for a deal. Oh, I do the same. I'll do the same shit. What? Hi, greedy. Hi. I'll, do, I'll act stupid. I'll pull my Have you had um, a sugar daddy before? No. No. Mm-hmm. Really? No. Why? I don't know. <laughs> What the fuck? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I've dated successful men, but never like a, you know, Seeking I don't I don't work and you just pay for my lifestyle. But you've never like even that. went on Seek Arrangement? Mm. You've maybe never been that poor. Mm. <laughs> I I <am>. Privilege. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But I think I actually was on there for like maybe a hot minute. They're always okay. so weird. But I never like met up with anyone. Sugar baby lifestyle is interesting because there's one point where you start getting things. And you're like, damn, I still ain't got shit, though. Like, I've got a bag. Yeah. And that bag is... I told cool. you, that's why I used to get my books paid for, school paid for, bills mm-hmm. paid for. When I was broke, I never wanted material things. Well, and they that. like that, too. The men like that. They do. They do. But sometimes they all know just to um, spoil you. When they say the word spoil, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, but then be like drug dealers or niggas that really don't want to feel like they're paying for your life. Like, mm-hmm. niggas that really care about you want to invest and do the bills but, and school and stuff. So like here's that. the like, thing about that. Seeking arrangement culture. A lot of those guys don't want to give you cash. So they will give you things or trips for some reason in their mind. It makes them feel better. Yeah. I've experienced that where I'm just like, no, like if I'm going to fucking old guy, I want my <laughs> <laughs> thanks. But like I have aspirations that I one day can buy my own fucking Chanel bag. But at the same time, can you just give me the money? And I mean, I've had definitely like guys buy me bags when like I couldn't afford things, but you don't want to turn those down either because when they're so excited to do it, you're like, okay, like hell no, you don't turn down a fucking designer bag. You what? can't. No, but I've also been super no poor having the most down. expensive bag. But I remember Mandy and I when we were younger, she was like, how uh, when I left my ex, right? I left him. I was in a really bad relationship and. She was saying to me, like, you let him buy you all this stuff. Like, you needed to have cash. You should have done this. And I'm like, but a lot of men won't do that. A lot of men won't give you that fucking money in your hand. And I mm-hmm. think it's because they know this is their, like, leverage with you. It's a, it's a control thing at the same time. Yeah. All right. Let's get to... Actually, before then, I want to talk about the story where you threw a chicken. Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> Did you throw a sandwich at someone? Oh. Oh, shit. I did throw Are you Keely I, from 3LW? Wait, are you talking about my ex when I threw a chicken sandwich at his face? Oh yeah. God. What was that? I want to talk about our more aggressive story. <laughs> no. We we were like in a huge fucking fight. I was super drunk. He was like, you need to eat food so you can sober up. Here's Wendy's. I was like, hell no. That's why you threw it. This, that's why I threw it. <laughs> that's literally why I threw it. I was like, I don't want to. He was like putting it up to my face. He was like, you need to eat. I was like, I'm not fucking hungry. I want another shot. And then I just grab it, grabbed it, and I checked it. At his face. Was this the threesome guy? Yep. Have oh. you ever thrown something at a man? I'm not violent. I've thrown pillows. Pillow? Just Pal- pillows? Pa- what, pillow? What, what was that? Pa- what's a pillow? Pillow. What's a pillow? It's not a pillow. Oh, you really <laughs> say it like that? You Palo? know I do. Y'all do this every time. Pillow? Pillow. Pillow. I don't know why the fuck she put an A Pillow. in that shit. Pillow. <laughs> pillow. Say it again. Pillow. pillow. First of all, ain't, is English even your first language? Why are you doing Ooh. me like that? <laughs> Uh-uh. I am going to contact HR. I know, well, it's right. me. Mm-hmm. Honestly, can I tell you, there is no HR in the studio. There is no and I'd be thinking, damn, what if they revolt against us? <laughs> Yo, we, should, we should make a coalition. It's- Are y'all niggas going to unionize? <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you know. It's week. kind of crazy coming from working in corporate, working somewhere with no HR. And I'm always like, Ooh, that was like I just had like my assistant like buy me like coke like whatever like, <laughs> like I don't know oh I God. don't know I don't know the, the podcast space is really different it's very different we really though. talk about sucking mm-hmm. dick like there can't be real sexual right. harassment here but there can be but there can be very right. thin lines you it's know very thin very I'll get thin. like naked to like change like I just got naked it. in you front of you yeah. Yeah. I know. saw my whole pussy and titties and everything and I, I was know. like damn I missed the whole I had to take it all the way off you know put it back that's on. a good point because you don't know the fine line. Yesterday, Bro, I just got naked in front of you. You have really like, nice tits, man. Thank but you, you guys don't work like, together, which is even worse. She's a <laughs> guest <laughs> of ours, and I'm just I just got nude right, in she's front of her. The second time. <laughs> 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 so I feel like I'm not that bad. The only thing is, I caught myself yesterday. Um, I asked my assistant for help with getting facts for for facts sake on Squid Games, and she wrote me back and she said squid like the sea creature and i said bitch do you live under a rock girl <laughs> no 
oh, Squid Game. She was like, oh, oh, oh no. shit, okay. But then I was like, what if she thought that was like aggressive? Right. And I oh yeah, like, I would have went to my. Uh, but if it's I got now, bitch, and when I was an accountant, if one of my motherfucking superiors called me a bitch, I was going straight to the But I'd be like, or or back then, I ain't gonna hold you. I don't know how they do it. No at other firms. Don't say that. Bitch is different. No bitch. What if your not, superior was a black girl? I don't give a fuck. You know what mm-hmm. I would have done? All them little Amazon gift cards y'all give us during busy season. I'm gonna need about five hundred of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord. Go, so like, yeah, when we worked in busy season, like if you were doing a good job, you would get like an Amazon gift card or like right. they just, you know, because they worked us to death. Mm-hmm. 80, 90 hour weeks. Let's feed you dinner and hand you gift cards for three months. Yeah, that'll make up for it. So, no, that would have made up for calling me a bitch. Otherwise, you're getting fired. We do be like doing the most, though. Like we be on the company Zoom calls and I'd be like writing her separately on the Zoom. I'd be like, girl, look at this motherfucking bitch in the corner. <laughs> like I'd be doing way too much. So, you know, companies, though, <laughs> keep all of that. Like, they can see that. Even though you're private at the time. I know. I was it, thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Look at me. Mm-hmm. We got to reel it back because we got to call in an hour. And I'm going to just be like, girl, don't you love working here? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. Home mail. Someone asked for this. Can you please do a segment on insecure friends? I have a friend who every single picture we take together, she tells me she won't let me post it. She always tells me I take the ugliest pictures of her. She's literally gorgeous and I would never intentionally sit and take a bad picture of her. If she looks busted, why would I post it? I'd never do that. It's so frustrating. And every time we take one, she's like, oh my God, don't post that. How do I deal with this? Please. I want to post pictures. Of course, she's my best friend. She's so pretty. It's so hard to deal with her and I'm not even being dramatic. My friends post pictures of me that aren't my favorite, but I don't make it the end of the world. Please give me advice. Do you have friends like this? I'm not being a bitch that posts bad pictures. I swear she's just a bitch about it. No, you're just insecure and think you're ugly. Okay, but easy answer. Fucking send that shit to her. Be like, Photoshop your face. Send it back because I'm fucking posting it. Or like just if you're going to take pictures with her, make sure they're all on your phone. She can't post pictures she doesn't have. So go through the pictures through your phone. And when she's like, girl, send me the pictures. Only send her the ones that you actually like of yourself. Okay, make her take them. Make her take them. Oh, okay, so you're saying the other friend is fucking insecure? Is that what you're saying? I'm saying the no, one no, that has a problem. The, she should like, take them on her phone. Oh, got it, got the, it, got the, it, got the it. The person mm-hmm. sending the email should just take the pictures on her phone mm-hmm. so that the friend only has pictures that you approve of because you've sent them to her now. So I think that there you know should I mean? be like a regular rule about this. And Mandy and I do it when we have photo shoots. We'll either or pick three or five and we'll like which ones we like of ourselves or hate them. And don't get me wrong. You might send pictures where I don't love my face in every one of them. But out of the five, I'll at least pick one because we have to compromise. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like if I hate my face in everything, like which one is the best of both of us? And it's hard sometimes to take the best photos together. But you did the same thing or your assistant did. Yes. <laughs> what? Like saying like, oh, Sophia likes these, but like you can pick out of these. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's how you do it. And also like I've honestly gone to a point we're on camera. We're having to take pictures all the time. Like I used to be like, oh, I don't look fucking hot as shit. Can't be posted. Now I'm like, people see people know what the fuck I look like. I know. Go ahead. Post that shit. It's a weird thing with how the standards of like Instagram have made us like so uh, you know a few weeks ago whatever Instagram shut down for a day mm-hmm. Do you remember everybody talking about how much more chill they were feeling I saw someone tweet and I thought mm-hmm. it was really funny but true he was like I can't wait to wear the same outfit back to back now <laughs> like I could repeat okay, an outfit well no that's a problem like <laughs> that's when people are taking this too serious but I, I mean, mean is it true Manny do you repost the same I sure do you might wear it oh no so I, no, I, I repeat I post I do well, all that post now. Repeat. my bathing suits nah it depends mm. cause the bitch got a whole lot of bathing suits uh, but I'm like to the point now where I don't care and now like I go out so people see me I'm finna be in the same shit bitch I just did a closet clean out um, w- with my assistant we were doing it together and literally I heard the way I was saying this and if it wasn't something that, like, I gained weight and I can't wear it anymore, it was like, okay, well, I already wore this on Horrible. And that's my mm. thing now. I'm, like, I do, video, so ridiculous. I do video for all my pods. I be, I record weekly. We come in here. We knock out a lot of episodes. We drop weekly. At this point, nah. What like, the fuck are we supposed to do? Y'all just gonna see me in the same shit. Thank I, you. I'm, yeah, I'm with Mandy. I, like, don't care about that. I'll, like, wear the same shit. Yeah. I don't care. You do love a scrunchie and a tank top, though. Oh, my God, I do in <laughs> every fucking thing. But it's about to be winter, and you're going to see me looking different, okay? What does that mean? I wear a tank top and a scrunchie and my watch for, like, everything. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what, what changes so in the, the fall? fall? 
Right. Well, now I'm going to be covered up. I'm going to be doing turtlenecks, bodysuits. Oh, you do bodysuits? Mm -hmm. The wrap around. Oh, I do like those. Mm -hmm. I love like a long tee, but it's like kind of cropped. Yes, and it ties. So winter's oh. coming. You've been talking about getting a place in New York. What's next for Sophia and your podcast? Yep. So again, it's Sophia with an F. I Next week is my one year mark, Woo. which is fucking. I know cool. that's right. Well, technically it's. Maybe when this episode comes out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, shit. But it's wild because, I mean, I started that show not in my right mind. Um, so I've come a really long way. And there's a bunch of new stuff that I can't talk about. And I fucking hate when bitches say that shit. But, like, I can't. <laughs> but you guys will see. And then uh, it's Sophie with an F, Franklin with a Y on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. Not TikTok, girl. So you moving back to New York. Absolutely. I'm thinking January. I'm looking for apartments like this week. So you need it. What well, you, you can't even look this week because by the time January come, they're going to be gone. We're I gonna, know, but I just need to like get a sense like. of like the pricing. Well, the like, pricing the will be lower. It'll lower in, by the time in, in you January. Look. It'll be low. Winter yes. time is the best. They start offering concessions. I moved, I moved in January. It was, Good. It was it was a late. Um, okay. So check out her pod, <laughs> Sophia with the F. Check out our episode. I guess you'd have to check it out from a year ago. Were we like your number six? Yeah, you guys were like very early on. Maybe mm -hmm. my, oh no, I, I think I had my friend, John, my gay friend John on. I'm not sure. But Sophie the Neff, we talk sex, relationships. I talk about throwing chicken sandwiches. Smoking crack. <laughs> oh, and you Robert Green on. By the way, He's all, so smart. What the fuck, 48 Laws of Power, which I feel like every time a man loves a book, they're like, Art of War, 48 Laws of Power. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm glad you asked him about The Art of Seduction. That's a good book too. Yeah. So check us out, New York, November Fourth, Fourth, yep. DC, November nineteenth, nineteenth. It's a Friday. <laughs> then LA, December third. Yep. It's a Friday. Then Atlanta, December seventeenth. It's a Friday. Beep. I'm so proud of you for remembering all that. Uh, make sure you guys go to whorehive.com and get your tickets to see us live. We are taking you back to school, pussy ass hoes. Uh, Sophia, thank you so so much thank for you. joining us again here on Horrible Decisions. I can't wait because the next time you come on, you definitely would have ate Wheezy's pussy, and I want to know how much money she gave <laughs> oh, you. And maybe you'll fuck a guy that's not a quarter black. Oh my god! I we're gonna have to we're gonna have so much updating. I can't fucking yes. thank I'm you for excited. having me on. Thank you. And guys, we are gonna leave you with a five minute bonus clip. Make sure you go on over to our Patreon at patreon.com backslash horrible decisions. Go ahead and also send us home mail. If you haven't, we weren't able to oh, we, we did get to it today, but that's at horrible decisions at gmail.com. Send us your home mail, your whole confessions, and we are gonna leave you with a five minute bonus clip of Patreon. Thank you for tuning in to yet another episode of Hori Blade Decision. It's bonus, bitch. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Bonus Horrible Decisions. Uh, we have a lot to talk about today, so I'm excited to get into it. Um, I guess we'll start. I have the catch up. Um, first off, I do want to give a shout out to Siggy, but uh, I want to, I guess, start off with talking about being back on stage. Uh, I was going to say, first thing to catch up about is our live show. If you've been living under a rock, that is not on our Patreon post or Instagram, just like me, since I don't have one, you should head on over to whorehive.com and get your tickets because we are going to be in New York. That is where our first show is. We are going to be in D.C. the week after, a little Thanksgiving break, then L.A., and finally wrapping up this year in Atlanta. If you don't live in any of these cities, I would recommend personally going to the um, D.C., or Atlanta show. Here's why. Obviously, New York is where um, we live and it's where like a lot of people um, always want to come to because we're from here. However, those venues particularly um, are big theaters. And I think it'll be super dope for you guys to experience our live show in a really big theater. So that's just what I'm recommending. I know a lot of people have like wrote us in that. Um, LA, we only have performed at an improv. So we're super excited to come to the Regent Theater. But we know y'all niggas in the Bay and maybe people on the West Coast may come. So if you're on the East Coast, try out our DC or Atlanta show. Um, our Atlanta show is going to be at like some big ass new venue that many people haven't even performed at before. So we're super hyped for that. Yeah, I do want to say too... Um, I've been getting a ton of comments, a ton of DMs. A girl just Love literally wrote me yesterday and was like, I have my vaccine, but my homegirl don't. What does that mean? And I'm just like, I can't keep answering all of these vaccination questions for you guys. So if you live in New York, you need proof of vax to enter damn near 
any and every establishment on already. So I don't understand why people in New York are asking. Um, DC and Atlanta, I believe that they are also requiring. I understand that. why Atlanta but asked. You, you. Well, you may be able to also uh, get a test. There are. Uh, it's either one or two of the venues are allowing you to take a PCR 72 days before. You have to check with the venue policy on that. And then LA as well is also requiring proof of X. That we, we can't do anything around that. A lot of festivals, a lot of places that people are going are requiring proof of X. So I'm not going to push you to do something that you feel as though has turned political. However, I am gonna say, if you need a proof of something to enter a venue, get that proof. That's it show up and we're looking forward to seeing you guys but i am not the cdc and i can't keep answering all these vax policy requirements jesus i know like at this point people are in um even Vinny's dms about it i feel bad but i mean look it uh it's interesting because i kind of thought like we were all on the same page now by we i mean like niggas because like yeah in the beginning of the year for sure anti-vax rhetoric was something that was almost something we would look at because we're like well we all don't know but there's this video of black china yelling in the airport about well, she a girl was, who isn't she was clearly on drugs what, bro the way she was moving and flinching her arms i, I saw one video no, but i just thought maybe somebody said something nasty to her got too close and had an outburst nah that bitch was I don't, on drugs she was yelling at the people I know, but we didn't see what happened before. Bro, did you see I'm gonna be her, her with body you. Like, movement? I, okay, I didn't see. Maybe I didn't see Duh, another video. But any, so bad. Okay, well, let me say two things. So I was going to say the comments shocked me. Like, people were like, oh, it, it's their choice. And then Kyrie Irving, like, people are like, oh, damn right. He's standing for something. And I was like, holy shit. Like, y'all niggas really, like, niggas do not want to get back. Like, I didn't know is. I thought it was just Republicans and questionable. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. 100%. I mean, I've had this conversation before we decided to go on tour. It's largely our demographic that is not getting the vaccine shot. So it's definitely not just Republicans. And unfortunately, it is definitely heavily more weighted in our community of people. And, and I get it. I mean, there's there's conversations regarding, you know, the Tuskegee experiments and things in which we experienced in the history of our community. Yeah.